Hello, my name is Daniel Iversson. Behind me you can see the combined heat and power plant that keeps 50,000 people in Estesjön warm. For over 130 years, Jemtkraft has kept Östersund warm and cozy, even through the harshest winters. But as the region continues to grow, so does the demand for smart, sustainable heating solutions. To meet that demand, Jemtkraft built a new combined heat and power plant, one that required a high-capacity wood shredding lot. Their existing shredder struggled with throughput, suffered frequent downtime, and was unable to reliably process the higher capacity and variety of biofuels required to feed the new plant. To solve the challenge, Jemtkraft partnered with the Zordon to design, develop, and deliver a system that's efficient, flexible, and built for harsh Nordic conditions. Our old boilers were very worn since they were constructed on the mid-80s. We had to replace them to be able to produce district heat and electricity. That's why we have built a new additional CHP plant. We wanted to build a shredder line that was uh, not just flexibly and uh, efficient. We also wanted a shredder line that was easy to maintain, that had a high standard regarding working environment. To meet that goal, the new shredder line had to fulfill three key requirements. The first requirement, the new line had to process a wide range of fuels, from dry sawdust to wet forest residues and waste wood. We use almost every sort of biofuels available on the market. Uh, a lot of uh, byproducts from the sawmills, such as uh, sawdust and bark, boards that are in the wrong dimension so they can't be used for carpentry. But then we have a lot of uh, forest fuels as well, such as uh, tips and branches from thinnings or clear cuts, pulp wood that isn't good enough to be used as pulp wood, uh, and then we have the waste wood sortiment. The second requirement, deliver consistent chip size and moisture levels to keep the boiler running smoothly and efficiently. Without that consistency, performance drops, emissions increase, and energy output can fall, especially during peak winter demand. The throughput of the shredder line had to be 70 tons an hour with the end fraction of P63. And that can easily be fulfilled with this new shredder line. With the new shredder line we can keep the production costs lower since we are much more flexible and can handle different types of uh, biofuel. We can also handle bigger amounts of waste wood. We can uh, handle more material that other customers don't want to handle. And probably we can buy them cheaper. When designing the shredder line it was taken into consideration that uh, input material can change because of this, we have a two-stage shredding where we can change the shredder programs to have a more coarser or finer shredding. And on top of that, we can change the screens in the vibratory screen and in the fine shredder, which then will change the output fraction. To monitor the line and avoid blockages, we have installed mechanical sensors in loading points. Uh, which will give us an early warning if there is a blockage and we can uh, stop the line before it uh, grows into a bigger problem. The third requirement, improve safety and system uptime, especially during freezing Nordic winters and hot summer days. Shredding wintertime can be a challenge in Sweden. We have uh, cold winters with a lot of snow. Freezing is one big problem because we need our capacity and availability winter time. When it's cold, we need the most of the fuel. We also need to shred the most. That's why we have placed uh, half of the shredding line indoor in a cost-effective PVC hole. To protect uh, the electrical equipment from the cold, all of our uh, control panels and the electrical cabinets are either inside the marine containers, which are climate controlled, or those which are outside have their own little heating units to ensure that uh, they stay warm during winter. To handle harsh Nordic winters, the new line includes a winter mode to prevent freezing in snow or rain. It also enables faster morning startups when demand spikes in cold weather. And in summer, 
when the input material is much drier. The focus shifts to controlling dust. For the summertime, where the input material is uh, drier, we have the free shredder equipped with a mist system, uh, which uh, can uh, spray water vapor on the material, and this will uh, enable it to be less dusty. We also have an aspiration system, a dust extraction, in the PVC hall, which uh, sucks uh, dust from loading points and uh, collects it in a filter. The upgrade supports Yemcraft's goal of raising recycled wood use from 20 to 75 percent, while boosting performance and long-term resilience. From the start, this was a partnership built on shared goals, open communication and trust. And for Yemcraft, that trust started on day one. We chose to work with Assortim because they had a good flexibility, a high capacity, and a high focus on the working environment for the operators and the guys running the plant. First time meeting Assortum, it was a very cold day in a very bad snow blizzard. Didn't think I would see those guys again. Uh, but they came out good and uh, it has been a fun joy since day one. What made this project a success wasn't just the technical solution, but the partnership behind it. Yemtkraft's team brought deep expertise, clear goals, and a strong drive to improve operations. And if you want to know what it's like to work with Azortum, just ask Yemtkraft. Why should you choose Azortum? Uh, come visit us, come visit me. Take a look at our plant and the outcome of it. Let us tell you about Azortum and what they can do.